among patients who had a DNR status and were hospitalized with acute MI, only one third received palliative care. My name is Ofer Kobo, an interventional cardiologist from Hillel Yaffe Medical Center, Israel, and a researcher at Kiel Cardiovascular Research Group, Kiel University, UK. Our article is Palliative Care Use in Patients with Acute Myocardial Infarction and Do Not Resuscitate Status from a Nationwide Inpatient Cohort. The study will appear in the April 23 issue of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Integration of palliative care services in the care of patients living with advanced illnesses have been shown to have numerous benefits to patients and their families. Hospitalized patients with acute MI that have a DNR order represent a heterogeneous group of patients who are generally older and are increasingly multimorbid. While both the use of DNR order and palliative care have been previously investigated independently in patients with acute MI, little is known about the use of palliative care in patients hospitalized with acute MI with a DNR order. We aimed to examine the predictor, treatments, and outcomes of the use of palliative care in patients hospitalized with acute MI who had a DNR order. We utilized the NIS, Nationwide Inpatient Sample, between the year 2015 and 18, to examine the predictors, in-hospital procedure, and outcome of patients receiving palliative care among patients with acute MI who had DNR order. During the study period, we identified over 339,000 admissions with acute MI that had a DNR order. Of those, one third received palliative care. Patients receiving palliative care were more frequently younger, with median age of 81 versus 83, male, 60.7% male in the palliative care group versus 45.7, and were more frequently presented with cardiac arrest. Furthermore, patients less frequently received palliative care if they had cardiovascular risk factors, including previous MI, hypertension, dyslipidemia, diabetes, or smoking, where they were more likely to receive palliative care if they were comorbid with heart failure or malignancy. In an adjusted model, we found that patients were more likely to receive palliative care at large size hospital with odds ratio of 1.47, or teaching hospitals with odds ratio of 2.1 compared to small or rural hospitals. Patients receiving palliative care were less likely to be treated invasively with reduced odds of an invasive coronary angiography, odds ratio of 0.46, and PCI, odds ratio of 0.47. Compared to those that did not receive palliative care, patients receiving palliative care were more likely to die in hospital. 52.4 versus 22.9 in hospital mortality rates. In conclusion, despite the potential benefit to patients and family, in patients who had DNR status and were hospitalized with acute MI, only one third received palliative care. Demographic disparities impacted the use of palliative care, and palliative care was more frequently provided in large and teaching hospitals. Further evaluation of the use of palliative care, particularly in patients who had DNR order in place prior to admission with acute MI, is required to determine its appropriateness, appropriateness and to facilitate greater use in this high-risk cohort of patients. I invite you all to read the full article in the April 23 Mayo Clinic Proceedings issue. Thank you. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. 
There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.